Good afternoon. This is Mayor Turner. I was wanting to get you updated on where we are as a community uh, and a region. So let me start off with the numbers. Uh, El Paso is at 192. San Angelo's at 26. Lubbock's at 214. Um, our sister city, Midland, is at 30. Uh, Abilene just jumped to 51. Wichita Falls is 50. Amarillo is 110. And Odessa right now is at 39. Uh, we just went up two more uh, right now. We have six in Medical Center Hospital and we have one in ORMC. This weekend, starting tomorrow and Sunday, is a very special time for those of us uh, that are believers. And it is a wonderful time of year. Unfortunately, I'm just gonna have to ask you a favor. Let's stay at home uh, this weekend. Uh, I know many like to go to church on Friday for uh, Good Friday and also Sunday for Easter. Um, unfortunately, with COVID still on the rise in West Texas, it's a very dangerous time to be in a large group. Uh, churches can meet if they are 10 and under, and they do have to social distance. Uh, so this weekend, um, I know it's a time a lot, especially when you see little girls in brand new dresses and things like that. Let's just take this one, um, worship at home if possible. Uh, you can watch TV. Uh, I know some t uh, churches live stream, and that's a great way to, one, stay home and stay safe, and two, to still be able to worship. We are going to leave the parks open. Uh, there are some cities that are closing parks to make sure there's no gatherings. We are going to leave our parks open and just ask people not to gather in large groups uh, at the parks. Um, because, you know, like we said before, if you're within six feet of someone, if they have COVID, they may not even know they have it and they could spread it to you and your family. There's a family in uh, San Angelo that evidently a large family had a family gathering and 10 out of that family are now positive for COVID-19. It is a very contagious uh, virus. And we're just asking for uh, this year, let's take Easter and worship at home. I want to also talk a little bit about communication. We've got a couple of fantastic employees at the city that are starting to put out commercials. Uh, we are partnering with uh, some of the TV stations. They have to put out public service announcements. We've all seen them on TV when you watch them. And what they're doing is they're allowing us to run one of the commercials that has been created by the city uh, to run and it's talking about staying at home, social distancing, and washing your hands, just like we've talked about every uh, live Facebook Live. Uh, these will be in English and Spanish, uh, both on English stations and Spanish stations, to make sure everyone is getting the same message and they understand uh, what they need to be doing. These TV spots will be running every day of the week uh, to make sure that people understand the importance of what's going on. Tonight, uh, there is a special event. It's called Clap Because You Care. Um, there are some absolutely amazing people in our hospitals, our nurses, our doctors, um, all of the lab techs, our first responders. This is an opportunity for everybody to go outside of their house at 7 o'clock and film yourself clapping for all of those that are on the front lines and protecting us. Uh, you can take it you can put it on Facebook, you can put it on Instagram, but it's just a way to reach out to them and tell them thank you. If you're not very good at clapping, 7 o'clock, honk your horn, uh, especially if you're near the, near the hospitals, and they'll be able to hear that. So this is a fa fabulous event just to help tell them thank you. Um, I want to talk a little bit about something called an EOC which is called, it's actually an acronym for the Emergency Operations Center. This is a center that's manned by county employees and city employees. And their entire job is to manage the situation here in Hector County. They are looking at making sure if a first responder's exposed to the COVID when they pick up a, uh, somebody in an ambulance, that they have a place to sleep so that they're not near their family and won't get their family sick. It's also for nurses that 
don't necessarily want to go home and expose their children if they've been exposed. And it's, it's an amazing bunch, and they are looking at worst case scenarios, which I hope we never get to. But they, they give us a report like this every day. Uh, I get a copy of it. The county judge gets a copy of it. It tells us how many ventilators we have in Ector County, how many, what percentage is being used. Uh, so that helps us when we need to go out and seek for more ventilators. Um, it also tells us the capacity of the hospital, how many people are in the hospital with COVID-19. That's where I got the numbers when I told you earlier, there's six at Medical Center and one at ORMC. It's just a, a great tool for us to be able to help manage this situation as we're going through. You know, but the, the whole thing is, is making sure you're doing the three things we've talked about every day. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. If you touch anything, wash your hands. Make sure you don't touch your face. Like we've talked about before, the average person touches their face 20 times an hour. So if you have something on it, you touch your face, you touch your nose, touch your eyes, you can get COVID-19. So that's what we wanna make sure. Also do your social distancing. And if anybody is sick in your family, stay home as a family because uh, COVID doesn't start showing up for four to five, maybe six days before you can test positive and you may not have symptoms. Some people are asymptomatic, which means they don't show any, they don't have a sore throat. They haven't lost any taste. They don't have any fever and things like that. And that way we make sure everybody is staying home and staying safe. I want to throw out something, just a special thank you to a wonderful group uh, from ECISD for the fabulous job that they are doing, getting all the information so we can continue to educate the kids of Hector County. I know many parents appreciate teachers much more now than they did before um, the COVID-19. Uh, teachers are amazing, they work hard. They take care of the kids all day long so that the parents can work. This just from your mayor, just saying thank you to all the teachers. Thank you for what you've done. Thank you for continuing to educate our kids through this uh, pandemic. And also in other groups, our mail carriers, uh, UPS drivers, FedEx drivers, they're out in this every day. And just tell them, I just want to say thank you to them. Um, but personal, on a personal note for me, Happy Easter. Uh, that is the day that our Lord Jesus Christ was raised. And it is an amazing time. But I'm just asking, please stay home and worship with your family and make sure that all of us are safe so that we can get through this as quick as we can. I will talk to you next week. Have a very happy Good Friday and a fantastic Easter. Thank you very much.